morning and welcome back to another video. I've got something really, really important to do this evening. So I need to get on with the day. I've parked up somewhere last night where they've got a shower. So I've been in for a shower this morning. I'm gonna get myself ready and we can get on with the day. I make sure myself and the cab are ready for the day. And of course I make myself a cup of tea and then I can start work and do my daily checks. I am first in the queue and I honestly thought that there would be somebody behind me because this time of year everyone's trying to clear out their grain stores so normally it's really busy if you go to a grain store. Colin turns up so I take my ticket into him on the way bridge. He tells me which shed to go and load in and where to park in the shed. He comes to load me straight away whilst I keep an eye on my wayer. This is a load of wheat that I'm loading now and this is going into animal feed. Once I have my correct weight on, according to my weigher, I go back onto the weigh bridge. I get my sample taken and get my weigh bridge ticket and then I can go. I make sure I put my sheet on and this load is going to Clumpton, which is only about an hour and 40 minutes away. Once I'm out of the lane, I head down the 303, 358 and onto the M5. Then I pull into the industrial estate and into the mill that I'm tipping in and I get myself and my paperwork ready for the Weybridge. I just go and take my ticket in and hopefully they can tip me. The Weybridge office was happy with my paperwork so they sample the load and then I can go on to the Weybridge. I get myself weighed in and luckily there is no one else here so I'm straight on to the pit which is great today as I do not want any holdups at all. This is a really nice easy tip so I put the body up and let the product go into the pit that I'm backed up to. This should only take around half an hour so not too bad at all. Well, that's me all set and tipping. So I'm just gonna have a little tidy up in here, ready for the prom tonight. Because this is a very dusty job and we are on and off farms and in and out of quarries, it's also hard work to keep the cab clean. While I'm here, I also need to confirm my next job. Hi Gemma. Hello, all right? How's it going? I am just tipping at Columpton. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right then, no worries. Oh, I've got quite a good day actually. By the time I've filled out my paperwork, the load has tipped. So I take my grain sock off and let the last little bit out. Then I put my body down and put my grain sock away. I have two quarry loads next, so I will not need my sock for the rest of the day. I'm loading sand next, so I have to get this trailer swept out perfectly. When changing between grain and aggregate, it's really important to get every last little bit out because grain in building materials can cause damage when it starts to grow. Brushing out makes you really hot, but this is the first time I've worn this hoodie and I really like it. So I'm a bit gutted. You know like when you get new clothes and you wanna wear them? A WR truck sales hoodie. So once it's all tipped and I'm happy, I take it back round to the weigh bridge to weigh out. Right, I've got my ticket and now we are off to a quarry that's only around 20 minutes away. I can't actually film in there, but basically I'm picking up a load of sand and I'm taking that to Exeter. So it's like just off the Tiverton Junction down to Exeter. So I make my way up the M5 to the next junction to pick up the load. Once I'm in the quarry, I get loaded by something like this. It doesn't take long to load and then I head down the M5 to Exeter. It's a pretty easy place to get to on a little industrial estate. Well, I've just got down to where I'm tipping. I've just got to wait. It looks like someone's loading up over there. So I have to wait for them to finish. And then hopefully I can tip because it doesn't look like anybody else is in here. I'm just going to go and find out. Right there. After that one's moved, I can go around and tip straight away, which is good. 
I only sit there for five minutes before it's my turn to go around and tip. This is a really easy tip. I back into the bay. I go and open my tailboard. I double check that the load is suitable to tip and then I can tip it straight out of the tailboard. This will not take long to tip at all and I should be in and out and I can go back to the same quarry and then I'm picking up a load for Windsor. As I'm tipping up, I keep an eye on the pile behind me to make sure I don't lose my tailboard in the pile and I'm checking my weigher to make sure that all the product is coming out as I edge forward slowly. Then I head round to the back to clean everything off and shut the tailboard. Once that's done, I can make my way out of the place where I'm tipping and head out of the industrial state back up the motorway to the quarry where I've just loaded this load. This day is almost going too smoothly and I'm waiting for something to happen and ruin it. I'm on my way back into the quarry now, so it's sheet off and beacons on. I'm loading up now and then I'm taking this back the yard, dropping the trailer and hopefully I can get the truck washed because it's a bit dirty after being in here. There's a few puddles around and it's red sands. That's me all loaded up, so it's sheet on, beacons off. The yard isn't very far away, so it doesn't take me long to get there. I need to drop my trailer, but because it's loaded, I need to drop the legs on some hard standing. There is a strip of concrete in the yard where we can tip loaded trailers, but because the yard is so dusty, it's quite hard to see it. The last thing that I want to do is miss concrete or put it so close to the edge that a bit of the concrete breaks off. So I get my brush out and just give it a little sweep up just so that I can be sure where exactly it is. I've seen too many trailers sink on the wrong type of ground and I really don't want that to happen to me. Once I'm backed in, I go and check on the leg positioning just to make sure that I'm happy with it. It looks good to me, so I'm gonna get on with dropping the trailer. I put the trailer brake on and wind the legs down as much as I possibly can. Then I take off my auxiliary lines, or as most people call them, Susie's. Because I have a tipper, I also need to remove the hydraulic oil pipe. And because I have an electric sheet, I have an Anderson lead. Then I need to remove the safety clip on the fifth wheel. And then I can pull out the kingpin. Then I pull forward just a little bit and put the air down on the back of the unit so that I can slide out without catching the back of the unit. I've actually had a really good day and the jobs that I was supposed to do today, I've got done really quickly, which means that I am back here now a little bit earlier than I thought, but not early enough to go and do another job, which means I get to spend more time cleaning. I have been in the quarries, so she does need a bit of a clean up for me to be able to take her to the prom, making her look really nice. So we might have to do something about this. Yeah. I always think a tidy fifth wheel can make a massive difference to a look of the truck. All I'm using is a Kate spatula, some Dettol wipes and some G101 from Autosmart. Then I give the unit and the wheels a good wash with some wash and wax. I'm all washed off now, so I'm gonna have something to eat quickly while it dries and then I can put some polish on. Today I have a nice homemade salad. Well, unfortunately, it started to spit with rain a bit, so... I'm gonna try and get a little bit of polish on, try and get a little bit of um, tire shine on, just to tidy it up a bit, hopefully. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's getting worse. The rain's getting worse. Well, I'll see what I can do. Stop raining. My hair's getting wet, but it's too hot for a hoodie. White diamond, ceramic coat. I think it might have stopped raining. As I'm coming off the wash, I reverse back up to try and avoid the puddle. I drive very slowly through the yard to try not to kick up any dust. Sam looks like he's ready to go, but first we need to do a bit of a photo shoot. Right, Come on in, Gemma Kate. Sam is the son of the mechanic that has worked at Wayne's for over 16 years and someone who would truly be lost without. Sam is going to follow in his dad's footsteps and is starting as an apprentice at Wayne's in September. 
His dad told me that he's really shy, but we had some common ground to talk about as my dad is a retired HGV mechanic and my stepdaughter left school this year as well. And I did make it to see her in her dress. Thank you for everyone who asked. <laughs> Your dad was there saying thank you. I was thinking, that's all right. It gets me out of doing some like proper work. <laughs> is anyone else going in the trap? No, I think it is just me. Oh, is it? The prom is at Woodbury, so it's only around 20 minutes down the road. I see some nice, unusual vehicles coming out the other way after dropping people off. And then I meet another truck in one of the worst places. But it's fine, and we manage to squeeze through. It seems like this place is out in the middle of nowhere. Ah, oh, Woodbury Park. In there. Oh, you do? Yeah. Time to show everyone off. <laughs> These trees are very low. I don't think there are any lorries coming through here. No, I don't think many lorries come through here. Yeah. It's okay, I got a low cap. I think I see the McLaren behind earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there he is, look. He's <laughs> going, come on, hurry up. <laughs> so I bet Dad came on. I bet he's just stopped my location. <laughs> got oh, already. what, can he do that on your um, yeah. phone, can he? Yeah, I bet it was Mum. Someone's filming already. <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> oh, see, she's held up her phone. I knew she would. <laughs> Quite nice up here, isn't it? Yeah. There's another Mustang back there. Oh, yeah. They're my favourite cars. Are they? I love them. If I could ever afford one when I'm older, I would waste it on the money on it. <laughs> Can't afford one when you're older. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my oh, God. My God. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's loads of people here. I wasn't expecting that when we came round the corner. Yeah. Well, I better be on my best behaviour. <laughs> I think we have just about shown everyone up. <laughs> well, all I can say is at least I ain't got the trailer on coming through here. That might be a bit, that might be an issue. Is your mum filming? Yeah, she is, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looks like she's going to cry. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> like your sister crying as well. <laughs> oh, she does love you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? You're being let out here, are you? Thanks, I don't think you might not be able to read. Sam. <laughs> I follow the road around and I feel a little bit weird about being so high and looking straight into the swimming pool with people relaxing. At least, if anything breaks off my truck, Bruce can fix it. Oh, it's a tractor. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Another one. Someone else is arriving in style as well. I'm not sure whether I would want to be driving that limo around the drop-off section. Stop doing that. That was a left-hand drive as well. And then for me, it's back to reality. I need to get back the yard and pick up my trailer and run down the road with it. Doesn't my lorry look weird going round roundabouts with no trailer hitched up to it? I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to do the prom tonight. I always think there is something very special about kids leaving school. It's like it signifies the start of the rest of their lives. So I'm back in the yard now and I reverse up to my trailer. I put the air down on the back to slide in under very carefully. 
And when I think I'm nearly there, I just go out and check to make sure that I actually am. Then I adjust my air accordingly and reverse back onto the pin, giving it two shunts forward just to make sure it's clicked in. Well, that's done and dusted and we're back to reality. So I need to hitch my trailer up and get down the road because I still have quite a few hours left of driving. Now I basically do the opposite to when I unhitched. I check that the king pin is in and then put the safety clip on. Then I connect up all my Susie's, my hydraulic tip pipe and my Anderson lead. Then I wind my legs up all the way to the top and take the trailer brake off. I'm also just going to give it a quick walk around, make sure my lights are still on and make sure that everything's sound. I did leave my... Oh, it's dripping. i got stones on. Um, I did leave my number plate on just because I knew that I was hitching back up to it straight away. Hoping I'm going to make maybe Amesbury or Andover, somewhere around there, um, and then get on to Windsor tomorrow. Because I started so late this morning, I have until quarter to 11. So I can push on, shave a bit of my time, and start a little bit earlier, but I'm not sure what time the place in Windsor is going to be about, so I don't know if I can go too early. I haven't got a clue. To be honest, it's too late in the day to worry about that sort of stuff anyway, so I'm just going to go for it and get as far as I possibly can tonight. I head up the M5 to Junction 25, up the A358, then up the 303. Then I get to the junction of the A36 on the 303, and it looks like they shut the 303 from there. Diversion. The thing is, I'm going to have to go right into Salisbury to film and get round it. There is a lay-by up there, a couple of lay-bys that I might be able to turn around in. Don't know whether to do it, get on and do it tonight so it's out the way or because I could park in that lay-by there if there's no room in those lay-bys. That is what I'm going to have to do, I think. Unfortunately, if I had have gone into Salisbury and back out, I wouldn't have gained much in time and I would have also have wasted some diesel. That's not what I wanted to do tonight. It will put me back about half an hour on tomorrow, but to go around that diversion would have been so long. Better off just parking up for the night at the time. I don't know what the time is. It's now half past nine. One thing I am going to do, because this lay-by is quite narrow, I am going to pull my mirror in. Hopefully, no one will uh, knock my mirror. Well, at least tonight's antics got us on to Devon Live. Thanks for watching.